Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to use DeepSeek R1 with browser use to make a AI agent for free and it will do the all of the tasks for you in this browser. So as you know that OpenAI also has introduced this operator. So it is basically an AI agent that will do all of the web tasks for you. But the thing is that it is not free. It is only available to pro users and the pro user price is $200. But as we know that DeepSeek R1 has the same capability like the OpenAI. So we will use this free version of DeepSeek R1 to get the same type of things like this chat GPT operator. Okay, so we will do the full setup for free and we will use the free API also. So follow the step by step procedure and stay with me till the end. We will do the setup with this browser use and DeepSeek R1. So for that go to this GitHub link that I have given in the description box. Okay, now if you scroll down below then here you will find this option to docker installation by the way we will not use the docker we will follow the simple procedure okay now first just clone this repository here you see that this is the link so copy this link open your command prompt or terminal and just paste it here and press enter okay and after that uh, this type of folder will be installed uh, in your machine this web UI here you see okay now just paste this CD web UI and go to that folder right now the next step that you have to follow this uh, you have to run this command up vnv python 3.11 where you have to run this you have to run this inside that uh, that uh, web UI folder here you see that inside this web UI I am running this command by the way after running this command if you get any error like uh, uv is not recognized as an internal or external command in that case i have given another link so go to that link this docs.install.sh and under this installation menu here you will find this linux and windows so according to your operating system just copy the command and uh, in case of windows and just uh, just paste that command and press enter and UV will be installed in your machine and after that if you run this command UV VNV Python 3.11 it will not uh, show you any error okay it will be successfully installed and after that you have to activate it this is the second procedure and here you have to remember it this command is for the Linux and uh, this uh, Mac and if you are on Windows in that case you have to run this command here you see dot vnv slash scripts slash activate this is for the windows command right so i have given all of the command in the description box you please check there see here i have uh, run this command and after that you have to run this command so just follow the simple procedure you will get uh, this understand very clearly here you see that this command you have to run uv pip install minus r requirements dot txt here you see that I have pasted it and after that it will uh, do some installation the dependencies and here you see that many dependencies it has installed. Now the next step is this install this playwright. So just copy this command and and uh, paste here. Okay. So after that it will install the Chromium uh, browser. Here you see that Chromium browser because when you will run the agent browser agent it will uh, do all of the tasks inside this chromium browser after that you have to run one command uh, this is the command you have to run python web ui.py and ip and this port okay so all of the uh, steps i have given in the description box you please check there if you in case you don't want to follow this github in that case go to description follow the step by step procedure and all of the things you will be uh, getting very clear to install uh, in your machine okay now here you see that I have uh, run this command this IP and port and after that you will see this URL okay uh, this is the localhost URL and in this port you will find this so if I go to this uh, these things here you see that uh, in this localhost port I will find uh, this type of interface this is a browser use interface and here we will do the setup 
okay so go to this uh, llm configuration and we will use the dipsy r1 so for that i will go to this website cluster.ai they actually provides uh, 100 free credits uh, to use the dipsy r1 okay so just uh, login in this and uh, or you can sign up after that you will find uh, here you see that 100 credit in your account and you can use multiple email to get these credits okay now after that go to this playground okay and here you will see the api option okay and here on the right hand side you will find the model model option and here select the deep seek r1 and here you will see the base url okay so just copy this base url and go to your this uh, local host and here in this base url section paste that right so the step is done first step is done and uh, now what you will do here you see that the model name so just copy this model name and here just paste it okay and after that as a llm provider select the open ai okay why here you see that they are also using this open ai compatible right now i need the api key on the right hand side you see that api key is option so just go there and here on the right hand side top click on this issue new api key and you will find a pop-up here give any name okay and after that click on this create key and after that you will find a api key okay so just copy this api key and here just paste your api key okay and after that uh, all other setup is complete now go to this browser setting you can select this use your own browser here okay and after that uh, go to this run agent and here you just go uh, paste your instruction okay in a natural language and uh, if you click on this run agent it will run that agent okay and all of the things that you have asked this uh, web ui or browser use uh, for this for the task you will find all of the um, uh, data in this result section okay here if you go to this results there you will find all of the recordings right now what i will do i will uh, go to this run agent and um, I will just simply type go to google.com and type openai and click search and give me the first url okay so now if i press enter and click on this run agent here you will see that it will open up browser and here you will see that it is doing the search openai and it will be closed you go to this recording section here you will find all of the latest recordings so here you see that i have used it multiple times uh, to do all of my tasks so that's why it is uh, there is three recordings are showing okay so you can uh, use this uh, dipsig r1 in this browser use um, you will get all of these things for free and otherwise uh, if you uh, want to install the olama and they are also you can use the dipsig um, as a free version so here you see that uh, yesterday i made a video on this dipsy car on free version how to install it with the olama so you, you please watch this video you will get the idea and after that here also you can select uh, this olama okay and uh, here you can select the dipsy version okay so i hope you found this video helpful guys if you have any question just let me know in the comment section and uh, please subscribe this channel and um, if you uh, want to know more concept and if you have any uh, question or any topic just let me know in the comment section and see you in the next video thanks for watching guys